Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am here with you today to show you how to color the adorable hippo from Hippest Hippos. It's a free stamp set that you can get during celebration that started July 1st and it goes through the end of August. So this is um, a set that you can get from me on my, in my online store for free with a purchase of $50 in the US. Um, there are matching dies and you can get those dies as well for $50. So if you spend $100 in the US, anything in either the new mini catalog that started July 1st or the annual catalog that started in May, you can purchase um, $100 and you can get both of these or $50 you can get one or the other. Um, there's also other items that you can get. If you need a copy of the Celebration brochure that is on my website, inkyhandswarmhearts.com. On the right-hand side, if you're on the PC, and scroll all the way down if you are on the mobile, um, it'll be a little picture that says Celebrate, and you can click on that, and it is the catalog that tells you what is available for free. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to teach you how to color these adorable hippos and how to get shading. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open your memento ink pad and you're going to stamp with your hippo stamp. And that's what I did here. I stamped the hippo down onto this piece of basic white cardstock. So the first thing that I do when I'm doing my hippos, I'm actually going to be using the dark and light smoky slate and the light basic black. And then I always have the color lifter on hand just in case I need to pick up a little bit of color. So we're going to start with the light smoky slate. And I'm going to just go ahead and fill in all of the hippo. Coat the entire hippo except for the eyes and the mouth with this smoky slate. And you can see that I do, I like to um, outline and then fill in. To me, I don't make as much of a mess doing that. So I just, that's my preferred method. Um, you might do it a little different than me, but that's how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything. I'm not gonna do the nails either. I forgot to mention that. Even the little belly here. Let's get this one. All right, and that tail. All right, so there is my little hippo colored in with the light um, smoky slate. I also use the light flirty flamingo. I forgot to bring that in for the ear area. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Then we're gonna go to the light basic black. And you're probably thinking why black, it's going to be too harsh. So I'm going to come here right along the eye area where it meets the muzzle part or the nostril, the big face part of the hippo, because I think there's going to be a shadow there. And then underneath the body here, I think there's going to be a shadow from the head. So I made those lines just like that. And I know it looks like, what is she doing? Okay. But trust me, just roll with me here. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with the dark smoky slate and I'm gonna blend that light basic black line in. So I'm just gonna rub over the top and blend that in. I'm gonna do the same thing at the neck. I'm just gonna blend that color in like that, okay? Now I'm gonna come back and I'm going to fill in and I'm gonna leave some areas with the light. Um, and I'm gonna leave some areas dark. So we're just gonna come in here. I'm gonna work my way around the mouth. I like to have the nostrils dark. So I'm gonna work my way around here and I'm gonna leave in the center 
of the face area, I want to leave it light, but I don't want to leave those splotchy. So I'm just going to leave a little circle or an oval right there. And then I'm going to work my way down the body. And I'm going to come here in the chest area. And I'm kind of probably stop like right around there. I like to round it. And we're going to do this one full on. We're going to come down. Get that little tail. And then when I get to the feet here, I'm going to kind of stop. I'm just going to come down a little ways and not do the whole um, foot area. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in with the light smoky slate. And I'm going to go over the top of that um, dark um, smoky slate that I just did and the light areas. Okay, so I'm just kind of going over the entire piece avoiding that mouth do the arms and on the stomach I'm gonna go over that light area as well not just the the dark smoky slate so I'm gonna cover all the way down like I'm coloring it over again one more time okay and I'm gonna just stroke that in there stroke that in there so now when I bring this up to the camera, you should be able to start seeing some shading. All right, I'm gonna bring it in. It still has to dry. It's gonna take a little time to dry, but there's some shading now. I don't really like that oval that was left there. So I'm gonna come in with my color lifter and I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth to try and like soften those lines a little bit so they're not quite so stark and then I'm going to go back over that color lifted area with the light smoky slate and then with the dark I'm going to do the nostrils because remember I said I like the nostril area to be a little darker so I'm just going to add that dark right in there and I think that that looks pretty good what do you guys think now, this die set that is part of the Hippest Hippos, the dies are called Hippo dies. There is a die that you can use to cut this little guy out. So it just lays right over the top there. You can run it through your die cut machine and then you will have your little hippo cut out. So I definitely hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial of how to color the hippos. That's how I went about coloring all the hippos in this series of videos. So definitely check this video out. Um, check out my other videos that I will have on the hippos hippos. I do, um, do the videos in a series. So I hope that you'll enjoy that. Again, I appreciate you watching me. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!